Welcome back. The theme of this video is something interesting, something you may have never seen before. And the first one is obviously a world map drawn by fishes. I've never seen uh, this approach. And wow, I have to say it's already incorrect. Uh, I'm pretty sure it. Uh... Well, first of all, the fishes are not going to go and fucking land and they're not going to wait. Do penguins count? Oh, oh, oh. So maybe the penguins are the forward scouts? No. Fuck. No, penguins are not fishes. <laughs> Fuck. But maybe they have an allegiance with the, the fishes. But like, let's play it. Let's play it. You know. Let, let's just say fishes. You know. No, no penguins allowed. I don't know why. Why I even consider the penguins. But the point is, there's no way the fishes can explore fucking Africa. Right? <laughs> That's not gonna happen. So, they would not see that. What this map desperately needs is some depth. Because this is a very bipedal, human-centric worldview. If it were up to the fishes, it's all about, you know, like, the depth. The depth is relevant too. And we're not seeing that. I'm not sure if... On this map, we see much water that in the first place. I, I know that some maps show it. This map, not so much. Mainly the reason is that it's not that explored, frankly. And uh, we're still finding animals in the oceans that we've never seen before. Which is uh, quite amazing, actually, you know. Because people make the points all the time that, you know, you can't explore jack shit anymore. But I guess you can still can if you go into the oceans, I guess. Uh, but still, uh, space is a lot more uh, tempting. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Most sheep sharers can only do one of the following. Go fast or share the sheep... Uh, I uh, shared a whole sheep without a single nick or cut. This is a uh, 17-year-old is one of the few sharers that uh, talented enough to do both. Oh my god, let's see. Holy fuck. So, he gets the whole sheep in 30 seconds. Would you go to the barber if the barber can... Shave all your hat, all your hair on your body in like 30 seconds. You will come out as a fucking baby, okay? You know, totally bald, no hair anywhere. Would you go to the barber? I mean, that's pretty impressive though. Very, very, very impressive. And look at the sheep. The sheep knows the fucking drill, you know? He just he just uh, came to the barber. And uh, when, when the barber is done, I guess I was like, Oi, mate, come on, you gotta finish this up. I'm waiting for here, like, for extra four seconds. Okay, two seconds. And he's already fuck up. He's already gone. Like, he's not he's not annoyed at all. He's just like, well, we're done here, okay? You took more time than you usually do, but, like, it was it was good enough, okay? No tip for you. No, it doesn't even pay. Just, like, fuck off. I I'm going away. Good guy, Robert. Robert... Landsberg, while filming Mount uh, St. Helens uh, volcano eruption in uh, 1980, realized he could not survive it. So he rewound the film into its case, put his camera uh, in his backpack, and lay on top of the backpack to protect the film for future researchers. Holy shit, the commitment. I have to say, just based on my personality alone, I, I would have tried to make a run for it. I, I, just, I just could not, like, if I'm going down, I'm going down fighting, even if it's fucking foolish, because sometimes, you don't know, people could survive, you know, if I'm dying anyway, what's the fucking harm, okay, right, but probably I would have been, nah, that's just, that's just a dick thing to say, no, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I'm generally a pretty cautious person, so, I probably just said uh, no to the volcano. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the circumstances of his uh, death, but probably he just went there to uh, film the vo volcano. 
So that just is an assumption on my end, but I could be totally wrong in case I totally apologize. And uh, yeah, it's just like <laughs> dying is uh, not a laughing matter in the first place. But God damn it. Fuck, I do respect. I do respect, you know, if the if the end comes and I know I'm fucking going down and there's just zero, zero chance, you know, to even like fool myself into saving my own life, I guess, you know, I would say like, fuck yeah, save the footage, use this footage and like, yeah, much respect, Robert. God damn it. That dedication. Fong got a one year ban from the stadium, so decides to rent a crane to watch the game. Okay. You need to be a total douchebag to get banned from the stadium, because people just who destroy the chairs, puke on everybody, be loud, uh, trash, uh, I don't know, just totally break uh, beer bottles everywhere, just like be total pigs and like get into fights, those are the regulars. So, you need to do something special to get kicked out of the stadium. So... <laughs> Rants a crane to watch the game. I'm not a huge fan in the first place, but isn't it better to watch it at home? Because every time you're seeing a race, for example, like, you know, obviously I have some experience with them, but like, you know, you see like, for example, a car race, Formula One, you know, you can go and like pay big bucks to see the whole thing or watch it at home and probably fall asleep but that's not the point here but the point here is that you just see a lot more i understand that you know you like you're like you're not there but you know if you just want to see the race technically you got to see a lot more relevant stuff than like oh yeah the car the cars yeah they went in circle again i guess Woo! I don't know who's leading, but oh yeah, like, but what usually happens, I suppose, is that you, you go to the stadium, uh, and you, you watch the whole thing, and you kind of watch it when they, like, well, I, I suppose it kind of depends, because, like, you fo football, you kind of see the whole thing, but, like, if it's, like, it kind of depends on what kind of uh, entertainment you're watching, because football, you kind of see the, you can't see football, you know? Uh, that's that's okay, but if you're just watching like cars, you're like, oh yeah, the cars went went around again. So like, what happens is that you probably have some screens that you also watch that. So, uh yeah, I mean, this man really wants to see what the hell is going on here. <laughs> but I should say, just stay home, mate. What a dedication. Uh, the end of Australia looks like the end of Earth. <laughs> Someone post this shit. On the Flat Earth uh, Reddit. Holy shit. Is there a Flat Earth Reddit? Oh my god, I have never checked. Am I living under the rock? Maybe. Should I throw the Flat Earthers? But I would need to go incognito. So, I would need to go with a name. I would need to convince them. I think I can do it. If, if I can find them. Maybe an idea for a video. But, yeah. Save this picture. An 8-year-old chess prodigy, Samuel H. Uh, Ruchowski, uh, plays chess simultaneously with several chess masters in France, 1920. He defeated all of them. This doesn't really mean that they are good. Uh, because, I don't know, I, I, I don't, can't really compare them uh, to current day uh, chess masters. But I suppose chess is kind of became a game of like you memorizing moves. And uh, those who can do that, so they recognize uh, similar patterns and have the capacity to think far ahead, uh, those are the true grandmasters. But yeah, I mean, if you just simply have the ability to uh, think far ahead, so you have a high IQ, most, most likely that strongly correlates to it, uh, then uh, that helps you a lot. And those who just like try to uh, memorize moves, I guess, uh, well, they're not gonna scale that well. Still, I mean, this happens, you know. I, ultimately, I, I do do uh, believe that a lot of people are just left a little unchallenged, you know, and uh, never really live up their left up to their potential. And uh, yeah. 
A different approach uh, for planting vegetables. Uh, so, she's planting vegetables between bricks. But, I mean, this is kind of kind of interesting. Definitely very interesting. But if you're planting stuff, wouldn't you rather have dirt? Because I feel like bricks are just gonna get in the way, you know. Mostly, like of course, like she has a big wall. Like that could really limit uh, the level of sunshine there. Yeah, and this this was my second concern that it's gonna fuck up the bricks. So if you really just want a fucking garden, I mean, I, I guess the bricks were already here, but. <laughs> You can you can just it, it's it makes it's a lot cheaper and it's a lot more convenient to just have dirt than bricks and the bricks are gonna be fucked up that's for sure but I mean nice I guess I mean I haven't thought of this but I mean it, it obviously to works to an extent but like it probably wouldn't like, it wouldn't work with a tree for example like it would totally fuck up the bricks. I mean, I'm just going with a very, very obvious example, but god damn it! I haven't thought of this, and I like this. I love this a lot. Like anyone, you know, even if it's a somewhat questionable idea, but can make me like reconsider my views. Like, oh, I I just saw to like a bunch of bricks, you know, like a front yard with a bunch of bricks, but she saw a garden, and I haven't seen that. Is it an awesome garden? It's it's an okay garden. It's not the best garden. But it's a garden, and wow, well played. Uh, Paternoster is a, a lift, is a passenger elevator, each uh, designed for two persons that move slowly in a loop without stopping. Oh my god, this is a perfect way for someone to die. If you guys are at any way annoyed by this and kind of freaked out I can actually speed up the video I just speed it up quite a bit like right away <laughs> would you jump into this shit? <laughs> oh my god holy fuck oh my god then it becomes like a video game level holy shit like you gotta make it just right or you die you, you can do a quick load <laughs> because you're fucked <laughs> super fucked holy shit no, 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 no. After seeing this, if I ever see a Pater Noster in my life, I'm definitely not getting him. Holy shit. I'll take the stairs, you know. I, I like to be a little fit anyway. This is this is just too extreme for me. I can't do it. <laughs> Army veteran rescues bald eagle dangling upside down from a rope in a 75-foot tree by mowing down the branches with his rifle. So... Like, if the bald eagle is trapped, 75 foot, that's kinda tall, I have to say. So, I'm, as a dumb European, I would just say, get a fucking ladder, or... Considering I, I, I probably don't have a 75 foot ladder, <laughs> I would just say call the fire department. I'm not saying the fire department is gonna come out. Like, it's gonna, they're gonna make this a priority. But they probably have a, a long ladder. And uh, maybe they can just squeeze it in. That would be my first thought. But uh, this guy obviously knows better. Uh, he's gonna use his guns. <laughs> that bald eagle is scared shitless after this. <laughs> my, my main concern would be, like, you, you just, uh, well, like... Assuming, assuming people even care about the bald eagle, because sometimes they just don't give a shit about the animals, like, but the main concern would be like, okay, let's just say you, you make the bald eagle fall down, like, just because the bald eagle can fly, it doesn't mean it's gonna be a graceful landing after uh, dangling on the, uh, on the tree uh, from a rope, it could be a very, very rough, uh, just like, splatter, 
<laughs> I like his pose. Fuck yeah, bitches! I done it! Woo! Alright, good job. Last one. <laughs> so I seen this shit, and this kid is using some device from hell to make snowballs. But what the fuck? Why not use your fucking hands? I mean, in our days, that wasn't too long ago, we, we often used our bare hands, but more realistically, if we were more sensible, we used hands with like gloves. I'm like, obviously you don't want to use gloves that are, you know, get, get easily, uh, easily soaked. You want to use like proper gloves. So you, you make snow, snowballs with that. And that's it. And you, and you potentially, optionally hide the rock in it. You don't, you don't do that. Don't do that. That's for the dicks too. Don't do that. But yeah. <laughs> but God damn it. Look at this. Why? <laughs> Why? The thing is, you have this fun outside activity of like throwing a snowball at some person on his head. And he has like a bucket. He has a helmet too. Like, okay. Usually you would have, have most a ha uh, uh, like a beanie on, right? If, if that. Probably like a beanie would be sensible, but many times uh, nothing. But of course it depends on the weather. What the fuck? Why would you like, hey, let's have a snowball fight. You know, imagine that, like, you being playful. Hey, let's have a snowball fight. I'm gonna go and fucking get my snowball clamper. What the actual fuck? Apparently this video is about the, the perfect uh, headshot. But I'm more annoyed by this snowball clamper device, which is straight from hell. It just takes out all the impulsive fun out of the activity just using the fucking snowball clamper <laughs> fuck these things need to die <laughs> i feel like i'm promoting this product by 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 by, by talking about it I if you no 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 I, I thought about some alternatives for this product but the best alternative for this product is your fucking hands right <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's faster too like, you still use your fucking hands. Like, if you really want to go this way, and it needs to be a certain size, make some snowball fucking gun, right? You know? Like, have, like, a snowball gun uh, that just uses slings to shoot snowballs, and you have, like, snowballs uh, coming in from the top, and you just, like, you can just uh, have, like, a, a slide, and you can just, like, reload it uh, that way, and just, like, you put in a bunch of snowballs. I I'm overthinking this quite a bit, you know? Just use your fucking hands, okay? <laughs> you don't need, like, a super snowball gun with, like, a sling. Oh, my God. That, that would be quite, quite dangerous. <laughs> By the way, slings are, are not fucking, uh, like, yeah. I, I can kind of fucking hurt, you know? <laughs> so, that's probably not a good idea. God damn it. Snowball clamper? God fucking damn it. This thing needs to die. Hashtag, uh, not this shit. I don't think so. And what this kid doing? That's a big puss. That kid is just waiting for, to get hit in the face by the snowball clamper. That's not how it go. You would, that kid would do, would throw like two, three snowballs at you while you're fuck busy clamping the, the ground. And, you know, you, you would get owned. That, that kid is a puss. Fucking paid actor. I'm calling it. That kid is a paid actor. And look at look at his expression. He was also bored by that time. No fucking wonder. Like, who's waiting for this clampy action. Look at that. He's just looking around. And now he's just, uh, you know, acting like a fucking paid off extra just to, you know, just <laughs> doing, for, doing his big fall. He looks like, you know, every other uh, uh, just <laughs> stuntman in, in uh, Marvel action movies. I kind of like the Disney ones now. Like, God damn it! Just, just, just the stunt man is like, you know, the the hero looks in that direction and like, oh no! God damn it! God damn it! Paid that. I know what this is. This is like a fucking shameless advertisement for that snow clamper device. God damn it! No, no! God damn it! That that thing needs to die. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.